Hello everybody, it's me Joys. Thank you so much for coming back. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, I am homeschooled and I have been homeschooled for the last four years, I think. Year eight, year nine, year 10, 11. So I'm in year 11 at the moment. I did go to a normal school for the first 10 years of my life. I think that's also quite important because you learn how to socialize and you learn how to act around people and you learn like the basics at school. So in today's video, I thought it would be interesting for you to see how I schedule my work, how it all works. I will try to explain a bit about everything and I'm gonna show you how I organize myself. And if you fancy, you can subscribe to my channel. Well, let's begin. This is my desk where I do most of my work. I've got my pots of pens and all the stationary stuff I need. I've also got my computer where I submit assignments from. I've got all my books here, I've got my chemistry, biology, all my subject books here. Advantages and disadvantages of homeschooling. First advantage is you get to go out when you want to. You don't have to be constricted by school hours. You can just get on with what you have to do without having to wait around, do your work in the morning, then go out in the afternoon or vice versa, or do all your work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and have the rest of the week free. It all just depends what you like to do. Another advantage is you can pursue what you like. The reason why I'm actually homeschooled is because I used to do intensive ballet in central London. I went into London four days a week. That's a story for another video. I've now stopped ballet because I lost the passion. To cut the long story short, I still wanted to become homes become homeschooled because I think it's really good for kids to be able to do what they love instead of just being constricted by some subjects at school. I really enjoy baking and cooking, so I get to do that. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel, so that means I've also, also obviously got time to film and edit. That's one of the biggest advantages of homeschooling. Um, you can travel and go away outside of holiday times. It's cheaper and there's less people around. I take Take it as like a holiday thing so when it's holidays or half term then I'll just do work then instead basically I don't have holidays and my friends do there's a few disadvantages one is that you can motivation I'm gonna talk about that in a minute that's a very big thing I think with people who are homeschooled obviously you have a lot less socialization socialization than other people I'm lucky enough to live on the same street as a lot of my friends this means I can just walk down the road and see one of my friends and it's really cool I'm lucky in that way because not many people have friends that live on their road. I also make an effort to go to an ice skating club and I'm also doing my Duke of Edinburgh award so this obviously also pushes me to go and see other people. I'm doing Cambridge IGCSE and I'm doing seven subjects. So I'm doing biology, chemistry, maths, English, French and computer science and business studies. I dropped physics because I absolutely hate physics. Unfortunately I can't drop maths but I would have liked to. My favourite-ish subjects are English, business studies and biology. In general I do about three or four Four hours of work a day. Can't tell you that exactly though because depending on if I'm understanding the stuff I'm learning or if I'm finding it really difficult it can take me way more time. If it's something I really understand really well I'll do like one or two hours and I'll be done. So really very so last year I went through a phase of serious unmotivation. I think this happens to everybody but I was struggling with a few of my subjects. I think I had hit a brick wall in maths and in one of my sciences. I just couldn't get past these units and if you don't understand something and you really read it 10 million times but you still don't understand it it's very difficult after that i just turned a corner <laughs> I turned the corner. I'm so motivated at the moment to work. So I quite like to make to-do lists. So I like to do a timetable where I colour code with my stubby low pens, different subjects, and then I write them for each day. Usually on a Monday, I have maths and chemistry. On a Tuesday, I've got biology, business studies, and English, and so on. Then I can pin it up near my desk, and I can tick off the subjects when I've done them on that day. Also, what I like to do is I write the subjects in my diary that I need to cover, and then that also means I can tick them off when I've completed them and that really helps to motivate me. I'm with a company called Wolsey Hall Oxford. It's a company that kind of organizes your homeschooling. So for each subject, you get an online tutor. They send you the books and then they give you this kind of sheet where there's all the deadlines for the assignment and they also organize um, assignments. They give you another sheet with all the page numbers you have to complete before the assignment. So what I do usually is I divide the amount of pages by the amount of lessons I have for the assignment deadline. So every week I'll have have a different assignment for, from one of the subjects I'm studying that tests you on the last module that you study. To do this, I print out the assignments that they organise for you. I complete them, I scan them, and then I send them in. And then online tutors mark your work and give you feedback for the areas that you are weak in. If you don't understand something, you can also ask them questions. So it helps you to feel less lonely. All the tutors are really nice as well. Also, from homeschooling, I've made loads of friends from all around the world because some of the people from Wolsey Hall have a group chat. Um, so we can all contact each other, ask if we 
you need help. Another way I organise all my assignments and all the papers I have is putting them in colour coded pouches. When I'm studying stuff in the textbook, any main points or keywords or things I need to remember, I put on a flashcard, put a stamp hole in it on a ring to make a flashcard pile. I put a colour coded ribbon on it to match the pouch that all the assignments are in. So then I have kind of like a colour for each subject. A lot of people ask if it's my parents that teach me. Most of the work I do myself. There are some things that I have to have like extra tuition for. So for example, chemistry, I have a tutor that I go and see. A tutor is really good at explaining things that I don't understand. And it's also a really nice change because I always read. I'm constantly reading from textbooks. So it's really nice that I can go and see someone and she can tell me about it. And I also struggle sometimes with my maths. Uh, so my dad helps me with that. So he's very helpful. Some people have actually asked me, do you actually do anything? <laughs> And I was like, um, <laughs> yes. It kind of annoys me a little bit when people say that because of course I'm working and I'm not gonna like just stop school and then do nothing. I think that's against the law. <laughs> Overall, I really love my homeschooling. When I was at school before, I always used to like think, I can't believe how much time school takes out of your life. Like, it's crazy. And I'm lucky enough to have a mum that works from home, which means I can stay at home and do my work here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.